Creativity Knox is here in North Carolina in Charlotte at the Southern Women's Show. I'm so excited to be here. And you can't see it, but there's a whole bunch of people out there. Can I hear you? Yay! And we actually met Megan. We put on the internet saying, if you're coming to Southern Women's Show, drop me a, a note on the email and I'll mail you a couple tickets. So she came by and said hi. And I said, guess what? You're going to come do an episode with me. So Megan, thank you so much. She's here native. She lives here in North Charlotte. And so, oh, I just love the yes man. <laughs> That's adorable. So Megan's actually going to learn to do this along with you viewers at home. And then all our guests in the audience after we're done today is, are all going to get to make the wine glasses. This is a brand new paint from um, Plaid and it's Martha Stewart's paint line. It's so exciting that it's found its home there and the paints are fabulous. They actually work on all surfaces, glass, wood, fabric. You don't need to have different paints to do different things. These, this formula, this new Martha Stewart formula works on everything and it comes in a satin, it comes in a high gloss, it comes in a a metallic oh of course glitter we don't always have to have glitter and it also comes in a pearl finish as well so you can use you can mix and match them it doesn't matter on the glasses now to do the wine glasses <clears throat> we're also going to be using the new line of uh, stencils that they also Martha Stewart also has and they're a sticker stencil so basically they're adhesive on one side and they're going to stick to the wine glass so it's really cool and I'll show you in a few minutes how it works. I have some samples here um, that we've already done up with the uh, Martha Stewart stencils and paint and you could even decorate your wine bottle or your champagne bottle isn't that fun? If you want to just take a, a something to somebody's home you don't want to put it in a gift bag you're going to put it right on the bottle and look how fun so surprise and these are all done with the stencils. So we're going to get started and everybody's going to have a lot of fun today. Okay, for our first step, um, you do want to read the manufacturer's directions always whenever you use any new product. But you use the um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and you can clean off the glass. Because sometimes there's a little bit of an oily residue on the glasses, so you want to be sure you remove that, okay? So then what we're going to do is, now Megan already picked out um, her stencils that she wants to use in her colors and I've got mine, so we're gonna kinda of do this together. So you can go ahead and peel off your stencil. And I'm just, now I've already been uh, stenciling with this and I didn't wash it, which I should have in between, but it's okay, it's still gonna work fine. I'm gonna just put it on your glass. Mm -hmm. Now when you're using bigger circles like that, it's just gonna be a little bit more tricky, but you'll be able to get it on there. Okay. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pouncer, your foam pouncer, and you're literally going to pounce it in the paint. How many have uh, stenciled before out there? Do I have some stencilers from way back? Okay, so if you haven't stenciled, you're going to just pick up a little bit of the paint. Okay, can you all see that okay? So I'm just picking up a little bit of the paint, pick up your color, and you're just going to work it in off on the plate. There you go. You don't want all those little bubbles. You just want to get it so it looks nice and smooth. You can do it all in the same spot. There you go. That looks good. So when it gets like that, then you're just going to go ahead and you're just gonna just pounce it up and down. Just a simple up and down movement like that. And you kinda wanna layer it on a little bit. This paint will dry fairly quickly, so that's really nice too. But you wanna be aware that it is paint and it will, if it needs to dry before you um, try to touch it. I know it's really tempting <laughs> to wanna touch it. Okay, how are you doing with yours? Okay, well you just keep on working over there and if you have any questions, you ask me. So, so I'm gonna peel this up. Ooh, where's my oohs and ahs? Ooh, there we go. So you can see how beautiful that is. Now I would go ahead and continue um, adding the, um, that kind of flower, almost looks like a little, um, I'm not sure what it is, but I like it, all the way around. So once I've done that, then I'm gonna go to my next stencil and then you can overlap them even a little bit. So I'm gonna place this one just like so. Okay. And then I'm gonna come in here with my, my dabber again, working out my paint.
Now, what I'm using right now is the satin, and I believe, Megan, you're using high gloss and satin. So your purples are a high gloss. The high gloss is going to be a little bit more slick than the satin paint. Now I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to fill in my stem. Now if I have found when I was working on the samples, sometimes you get a little bit of haloing along the edge, which in other words, it, the paint goes over the edge of the, the stencil like that just did right now. You see that right there? So I just found by using a Q-tip, I could wipe that off. Or if it's a really, really tight, there's this little strip all the way around the stencil. Can you all see that okay? See this little strip around the stencil? I actually just peeled the, st the strip off and I used it as a little masking tool. Well, you could use scissors to cut it, but I used it as a little masking tool to add to the edge. So if I go over, you see what I'm saying? So if I go over, really close and I'm not going to hit the glass. So just a little extra tip um, because there is the little edging on the stencils. Okay, now we're going to peel this off. How are we doing? Use the, the different color pouncer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to peel that off and there's the wine glass. Isn't that cool? It's so pretty. And I really like how neat it looks when you're actually looking right through it. And you can see the, you can see on this one how it's overlapped right here. And I just, this is a really great look. So as, as Megan's still working along on hers, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this little um, wine glass uh, gift bag or carrier, whatever. I thought it would just be a really nice way to tie it all in together if you were taking a bottle of wine and a couple sets of wine glasses. To make the a wine glass carrier, I wanted to have a stiff bottom on it. And I was thinking, well, maybe I should do a cardboard base. I go, no, I'll use my husband eats tuna all the time, so I saved the tuna cans. You can put a little vinegar in there to get rid of that lovely smell of tuna. <laughs> You're gonna trace your tuna can on to felt and cut out two felt circles. Okay, and so we'll just set that aside. And then I cut a piece of muslin the circumference around the tuna can, and I use the same stencils. I'm just gonna put the stencils right on because we wanna make it a really nice matchy, you know, piece. So the same exact way that I was doing the wine glass. You know, with the fabric, you wanna work a little bit harder so it really gets into the fabric. And then when you peel it up, you're gonna get the same look. And I'm not going to bore you with me stenciling the whole piece. I'm going to show you a piece I already have done. So here we go. There's the piece already done. It really looks nice, doesn't it? You kind of make your own fabric. And I just tore the edges on this. I didn't get funny and, uh, you know, so usually I would sew and make little casing, but I just want to make a really simple project today. So now I'm going to take my uh, muslin and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, I would hot glue this into the center because I wanted to make sure when the wine glass drops in, right, it has something um, inside that will not ch um, chip the glass. You're going to glue, uh, hot glue a piece on the bottom. Then you're going to come back around. So we'll, this is already done. We'll pretend that. We're going to take the can and you're going to add, put hot glue on the fabric and then you're just going to stretch it around the base of the can all the way around. When you come to this point, just run a bead of hot glue along there and there you go. And you'll have your little container. Super simple, huh? And then just gather the top and add a little bow. So this is kind of just a nice little hostess gift and I just wanted to share a little something kind of fun to show you how you can use the stencils from glass to fabric too. Now, I think, Megan, are we ready for your big reveal? Here, let's get you over here so they can all see you. Okay. Yeah, let's get you scoot over a little bit more because the camera's okay. right above okay. us. Okay. Okay. I'll hold it. Ooh, she did the butterflies. Isn't that pretty? And she could do more butterflies flying around or add flowers or whatever. So you see how easy this is. And I, I think I was showing you a little one for Halloween and the stencils come in all different fun themes and stuff. So um, I think this was a really fun project. You keep working on that. Yes, okay. 
and we're going to um, let our, our audience in uh, here at the Southern Women's Show, they're going to get to do some uh, wine glasses themselves to take home. I do want to tell you before I wrap up, it does take 21 days to cure. So that means you can't put it in the dishwasher for 21 days. You can drink out of it just as long as you're very gentle, you don't scrape it. But it does, it's 21 days to cure the paint and then you can put it in a top load in your dishwasher. So it's not great, fun thing to do, great gifts coming up for the holidays. I wanna thank all you ladies. I wanna thank Megan very thank much. You. And what cre when creativity knocks, what we say, when creativity knocks, open the door.